This is what's in the 99 cent store, 99 cent only for gardening. It should say 99 cent plus. I do buy some of my wire from here. This is good wire. This is the only seeds I see. Garden decorations. I've bought some of these. These little petals come off very easily. They don't last. Where this really isn't good for tomato staking, I do save these off of here and I have used those for years. But this little rings, they don't work for tomato staking for a tomato cage. That's a joke. This is semi-effective at keeping cats out of your garden. I have used some of these steaks. They're pretty good. That's really large ones. I haven't had those in here before. I got my footstool from the store. Gave $3.99 for him. I love him. There's a hummingbird feeder. Let me get one of those later, not today. I do use cocoa in my plantings. But that mulch that I bought, the Miracle Grow from Home Depot, has that, so I don't need to that this year. It's already in there. Those are terracotta. They're not plastic. All of this right here. That's nice. things now are at least a dollar twenty-nine. Rarely is anything 99 cents in here. Now I thought about using something like that to grow on top of my fence, but I really don't need it. I grow more than I eat. Give away food. Little gnomes, garden gnomes. Just thought I would share with you what they have down this aisle. I'm back from my shopping trip and I bought a large bag of Miracle Grow potting soil, not the moisture control one. It was two dollars more for it, but you notice this is 50 dry quarts. The last bag I bought of uh, Miracle Grow moisture control was a 25 quart bag and it was $13.97. And if you go with a 50 quart one, it's $19.97 and this bag is $17.97. I felt like with all that moisture control, I have two other bags at home, uh, the mulch that I could mix in with this, so I didn't feel the need to spend two extra bucks. But actually, it didn't cost me anything. It was free because I'm still running on my $150 worth of gift cards. I got $30 left to spend. And I went and got me some food from Golden Corral for dinner. They had beef liver. I haven't had beef liver in a long time and onions. I usually wind up eating chicken liver because no place up at my neck of the woods sells beef liver and onions. So I picked up some, well not just liver, I picked up some salad and stuff like that and a slice of carrot cake. But I 
Dollar Tree, I went by there, no coleus. There, they had like 10 packages left in their vegetables. You can tell I'm near the airport. See? Right by the airport at my daughter's house. They only had 10 packages of vegetable seeds left, no coleus seeds. Um, 99 cent store didn't have seeds in. Um, Home Depot does not have seeds in yet. And the funny thing is at Home Depot I ran into another gardener and a lady there who I explained to her how I use the milk jugs. It just happens I had some in the car. So I was able to show her and he does the same thing. And we're all like, why don't they have the seeds in the store? But I picked up three seasons of Swamp People. Yes, I enjoy that show. But I don't have internet at home. So I just get from the library, borrow DVDs from them. And you can keep them out for a month at a time. There's a light frost this morning on the ground. It's 31 degrees out here. Just thought I'd come out and look around. I gotta get the soil out of the back end of the car. As I said, I'm gonna take a week off and do, well, I'm gonna haul those in back into the garage because during that week, I will probably do some potting get that big old bag of potting soil that I just bought lame on the back porch here. But I'm not going to actually do much work next week. Nothing I'm going to film because I'm just going to be doing pots and I've already showed you how I do pots. Oh, I did want to show you this real quick. It's alive, it's alive, it's coming up from down here. See, I, it's my first time growing this guy, and I didn't know if he would come out on the branches or if he would run up new stuff down below. And apparently, it's new. There's two that are alive. This third one over here is not putting up anything yet. So, yeah. I'm just going to do some potting. That's about it. Maybe last night's freeze killed the citrus tree and the avocado and I won't have to plant them. I'm going to move these pots towards the middle so they can break that cardboard down. We'll make cutting that later for the cucumbers easier. But I'm taking a week off. You guys have a good safe week. I'm going to work on taxes and do some potting and stay warm and watch Swamp People and read the books that I bought from the library. I have thoroughly enjoyed my two cups of coffee this morning and watching season four of Swamp People. The birds are outside calling my name. It's sunny and I keep looking at all these seeds. Now they're not all going to be planted but I keep looking at the ones over here on this end that I've laid out that are calling my name. And I know that tomorrow starts a week of rain. But today it's going to be cold and sunny. So I think I ought to get out there and do a little something today. Don't you? This is my reading goal for the next week of rain every day. Today's a sunny day, but it's too cold out there. I just went out there. It's going to break my rule and go work and move things out of the nursery. It is just too cold. So, no. I'm, I'm just going to rest my body. Take a week off, clean the house, watch some swamp people, and read some chicken soup for the soul. And I got all of these books for just $3 at the library. They have a... Uh, Friends of the Library section, just as you walk in, and uh, paperback books are 50 cents. So I got six of them, and I'm going to put all these seeds away because they almost made me go out there and work today. <laughs> I can't have them out where I can see them. They're underneath the books. It was like, oh, things you could plant. No, I need to shut down, and to shut down, I need to put all the seeds out of view and just take a week 
and be with the Lord and be with the swamp people for a while. Take a soil out, uncovered the lettuce. My romaine lettuce is going to seed underneath that cover. You see them? Yeah, I need to get him eaten. Need to cut some today and start eating him. He's gonna go to seed on me before I even eat any of them. Sugar snaps are doing well. See, even with the freeze last night, I am off to Tractor Supply. I haven't been there to see what seeds they might have. I'm starting to feel good about this, this gardening. Oh, look, my radishes are coming up. Yay, look at all the radishes. <laughs> no gardening today. Cilantro is starting to come up too. See, baby cilantros. Even with all this rain. Radishes and cilantros. Yay. Factor Supply has their trees in. Peach trees, apple trees, flowering trees, shade trees. I imagine this is pecan or nut of some kind, yes? Yep, nut tree. flowering tree. Wow, they've got too much water sitting in there. Put all that water in with them plants. Yeah, let's go in and see what seeds they've got. Tractor Supply has seeds in. Vegetable seeds, a couple of flowers, sunflowers. I have them on sale. And they are for this year. They're not last year's old ones. Gotta always look for that when they have it on sale. I'm almost tempted on the carrots. They have big bags of... Uh, Flowers mix, wildflower mix, 50,000 seeds. But I don't see the price on those. <coughs> no price. I don't know what they're getting for them. I'm going to look through the flowers for a little bit. There's flowers. Good deal more expensive than Dollar Tree. Even with them being on sale. 329 is 247. 279 is 209. Dollar 99 is a dollar 49. Brownie point! What kind of brownie points are we getting there? Brownie points! We get them all. <laughs> I could plant gas. pansies at this time of the year. But no coleuses. I was hopeful on this earth science shady flower mix that they'd have some taruni in it, but they do not. Rather disappointed, especially given that he's only $9.99. It's 200 square foot coverage range. They brought the peach trees in. And apparently the plum trees. Plums could have taken the freezing cold. Whatever. Another whole section of vegetable seeds. I got my vegetables, so I'm looking for 
coleus and terrenia seeds wherever I can find them. Oh well. Off from here now. I'm in cucumber. That's what he's going to grow up and look like. Perfect start to a staycation. Fried catfish from my favorite Chinese restaurant. Some sauteed green beans, apple pie for dessert, and salad out of my own garden. Yay! Thank you, Lord. I feel so blessed. There's all the seeds packed up, and I am officially on vacation for a week. You guys take care.